Good morning, everyone. Going in today for another really important meeting. Of course, the first time we'll hear directly from President Zelensky of Ukraine, um, a really courageous man, and I look forward to hearing what he has to say to us. And of course, importantly, the Secretary General will be with us, and we have been echoing from the beginning all of his pleas for an end to this conflict. You know, I, it's 40, 40 days we're looking at this, and I, I personally, professionally feel this isn't a moment we can suspend our humanity. What's happened in Bucha, in other towns in the Kyiv region, is absolutely appalling. We want to see these heinous atrocities responded to. Uh, the Russian authorities were in control of those areas. We know that the Russian authorities have responsibility. We need to see that there will be no impunity for these absolutely appalling crimes uh, in Bucha, anywhere, anytime, ever. There can be no impunity for these crimes. What, were you, what will your message be to President Zelensky from Ireland? Well, the message from the beginning has been we stand with Ukraine. We stand with the Ukrainian people. We want to see an end to this war. We will repeat in front of him the pleas we have made from day one with the Russian Federation at the table. Stop this war now. Go home. We want to see re a return to a peaceful environment. We want to see the humanitarian situation addressed. And we want to see accountability. And we are working, the Irish Foreign Minister has spoken publicly in the last few days about the support we're giving to the Ukrainian authorities, uh, as is the European Union, to collect evidence, to ensure that those people we've seen and those horrendous images. I think of my brother, my father, my sister lying on a street with their hands tied behind their back and a bullet in their head. This is a completely unacceptable, heinous crimes. We're sitting at that table, we all sitting at that table, not just share a, a responsibility from a humanitarian perspective, we're, we're responsible for the maintenance of international peace and security, so let's get on with that job. Thanks. Ambassador, yesterday 